context and row set and XA. So load the product uh, if, if it is a row set and you know, load any iteration of the rows such as uh, order items, items and all. And uh, XA is a load uh, the product attributes of the items which is uh, you know, product attributes in here. So you can see here more about the calculated place. Suppose uh, uh, signal call is calculated place where it is get call how it is works. You can see the uh, PSP drive workflow will get called and if it is a mode what are you defining and you see the instances. You can see here, see variable map, uh, when you define the variable map and variable map it get here, the context object will get service and uh, mapping integration object will, wherever you call the integration object you have configured, then that integration map, uh, data map, I will it will get called. You can see and then it will pass to here. So here, uh, PSP, for example, variable map default place variable map context is there. Then that is a uh, when we if you go to variable map, you can find that. You can see now. Uh, for example, users click that button and it will go to the signal and it will go to the variable map. And whatever the, you are defining is uh, either business service or business, uh, context, that context will get called here. And then, uh, where example, then we are, through tools, if we add a new field, then you will have to add it uh, uh, in the integration component. And you can see the integration map will get defined here. So, here, the same way, uh, signals here, they're very important here. The signals, whereas the signal will be a dispatcher. So this is either source and signal dispatcher, how it will get defined here. For example, where uh, signals reverse order is there, reverse, then reverse copy will get called. And you can see here. So mainly I want to tell here, and I, one thing is, what is the difference between um, application data map and integration data map? So application data map, for example, if we see this, um, when it will, you are using for the uh, application data map, suppose reverse copy, uh, reverse order copy is there, error map, uh, signals. Now, reverse, reverse order is there. So, reverse order, where it will get called. Suppose if you see the data here, here you can see this uh, data map will get called, reverse order. So, if you, reverse order is wherever you to BC to BC. And order to harder header and items and all we are copying a uh, mapping. So if you go to the administration application within the C bill, we want to do the mapping with the BC to BC, BO to BO. You can see this reverse how order entry orders and source and destination. So within the application, you want to uh, copy that. So for example, reverse order how it is works here. For example, order entry orders. Is header so those fields will you have to map it here and at the same time line terms also you have to map it uh, you can see the line terms how it is mapping and those are once you click that it, this is a mapping is there that's why if you click that uh, reverse button then automatically those it will get revise that um, sync bit you can make it as a reverse copy of the order and go here this is the very uh, whenever it you uh, application data map will be useful do the here the copy of the order will get created here. So you can see the even this order to get revised and we need the another copy will get happen. You can see this how it is work uh, how it is uh, happening. So go to the tools. You can see this uh, revise method. I told you know method will get called here. This is a method reverse reverse order. So this is the one where I have defined in the integration component level, whereas user properties, whereas instances uniform name, this is name here it get calling. And this is a BO where I previously I told you on that uh, order entry order this is a BO. So the BO is get called here where I will define the BO. You can see this BO. So BO is business components where I define here. Example is hard entry orders. Here you can go to the BO and this is a BO contest. Whereas depending on the BO contest, you will get loaded here. 
this is the very uh, key importance of the hardware management user property instance uniform name of the integration object so io whereas uh, bo bo get it get called here so th now you come to know the difference so whereas if you see the in uh, application integration data map to call the integration prospect to uh, integration ea uh, we want to external application then we are going for the integration data map and application data map we want to revise the functionality like uh, as i show you now the revise the existing order to revising the new order which is uh, order number will get be am amended and uh, cancel you can do the original orders so here you can see the diagrammatically you will understand here and now we can see the how the variable map whenever you is clicking that button and uh, the contents will get flowed here now in order to continue here how it will works the pricing point of view when you should click this uh, click that user is perform any actions is pricing data and the pricing is a property psp engine so you can see the user is perform the raising signal and the variable map will get called and then psp driver workflow will get calling it is passing to the row uh, can get the context and row setup then it will pass to the any sub process there then sub process pricing process it will get called here and then the price whatever you define the product price then those it get affected and the uh, by using the variable map so here you can see the pricing data uh, data which is like you know when the user click in this quote or anything order level then centralized pricing process uh, policy will get called and the pricing process will define here so signal whenever the trickery will happen then as i said instance of any form name the user property will get called and we were very defining here so mirable is uh, both capable of the instances we can see this example port port level also this mapping will be there you can verify and uh, variable map so variable map you define here as i told you this we uh, were user properties and we were in the context will get passed and the io instances keep the uh, memory whenever the signal invoke the variable map can uh, map path a source has taken from the io as memory instances and then it will get passed to the here and you can see the psp uh, in psp workflow how it is works once your signal get invoked then you walk to the variable map and uh, when you define that uh, then it will go to the row set transformation services where it will get called and here the row of the setup uh, instances you get the is the context will get uh, important important that they we have to the row set uh, here the uh, signals on the variable map will pass to the row set transformation then you can see define it's a property set uh, first of all uh, the property set of the our instances suppose you are defining any kind of i want to discuss here the property set in global level also there are you can define here so in order to here i want to highlight one point here the property set and uh, civil message so property set is a set of name value page that are uh, structured data uh, so civil user property set is defined as such a data where you can use the uh, set of the business when you are using the business service or workflow check and then the the you can see this Uh, set up method define like you know uh, application dot new property set and application uh, set property and get the property set at child so you can see the diagrammatically the property set the type and value whereas so property set is a method like you know get child type is you are defining get child count you are get uh, get property count you are getting it's a get type so here you can see diagrammatically what is the property set property set you can see the name and value so name is a shipment country like uh, then what is that that uh, uh, fx and weight and you can see the name so this is called as property set most of them are need to some little bit confusing about the property set and civil message so civil message is a uh, set of uh, the civil forming the normal integration uh, property set it compile with the integration object structure it has uh, io integration hierarchy which is uh, Uh, typically, we use for the integration point of the civil civil message. 
Uh, whereas simple mesh is compiled in in the, in, the, in in terms of I/O based. So uh, while importing the uh, external source or you are doing that, and uh, it will create an uh, external I/Os where it is importing that I is there from the uh, integration point of view. I'm talking about here. This uh, uh, Q-Roll will perform the uh, integration point of view the simple message. Whereas you are transferring to the simple message to XML, then it is a very important here. You can see the code also. Code has, has also signals. And you can see the revise code and uh, code to level also signals how it is get called. So here, this is the one once you find you can go here you can see this you can see the reverse so reverse copy code you can method and see this User properties, it has one and it has code, it is vivo as I said, code. So this is a get call, and you can see the method, whereas method is there. So signal, you can go to the order management signals. Reverse copy quote will be there. So, whereas you can see this here also, transformation will be there and it get copy here. And here also, reverse quote application data map will get called. So, application data map you go here and then here map will be there. This is a very importance of the application data map. You can find that. And source and destination code, and we can see this mapping how it's happened here. We see the source and destination, and it has uh, fields. And you can see code item also has mapping how it is happening. This is how uh, signals and uh, in terms of uh, it works. If it is a product, when you are defining the price, and I will show you. Calculator place. This is when you're doing that. PSP driver flow it will guard. Here you can see the context. So context. When you're defining the reverse button, it will get called. You can go here context variable map. So here the The context is there. You can see in the mapping of defining here. So this is property set of context, and it has and row set. Row set level, whereas defining the rows of the action, whereas you can see the property set type is row set. So you can define the C default phrasing variable map and get field of this. And here you are defining the what is a mode. So mode is a it is a line terms level where you are defining the here. So here this is the one phrase using to get this is a path where has taken the contest dot line up and the cost this is the discount field so this is the how the source of the instances will get taken and then uh, that uh, price whatever you define the price in pricing engine to get called the, the product level price will the price will happen when you click that 
if you call in this calculator price all so you can see this even uh, done also customization also signals customization see this by clicking customization port order and maybe the call e calculator get loaded whereas you can define this is a vanilla one whereas order signals are there cancel order when quote also is there copy quote and uh, this is the one so auto order sales quote you can see this assert also Let's define this order order, and this is a business service. So you can see here, and the business service is this one. And if you define this order template, where I define this template, and uh, this will get called here. This is some of them hidden properties. The how uh, order management uh, signals and variable it will works. Thank you guys. Please. subscribe my channel so you can see and more videos about the sibel and nest so configuration this is the how order management works thank you guys please please subscribe my channel